what we're going to be doing today is seeing if we can reach VMAX in a classic Fiat 500. Now the only real problem that we have with doing a top speed run is that the speedometer, as I alluded to in an earlier video, doesn't actually read in miles an hour or kilometres an hour. So I have attempted to solve this by buying a couple of cheap magnets from eBay. We're going to stick them onto the ashtray and then we're going to have a dash mounted speedometer on my phone. What I have been doing previously is popping it in the tiny storage tray in the centre console, which is a bit of a faff because I had to take my eyes off the road to see what speed I was doing. So that's them mounted then. I've picked them in matte black so they blend in against the ashtray. Happy days. So I now have for either nav or a speedometer a very firmly secured phone, which is handy. Now the brilliant thing about this car is that it barely does 60 miles an hour, so we're probably going to be able to achieve VMAX on public roads. Although unbelievably, even in this car, we're stuck behind traffic at 30 miles an hour. And in a break from tradition, I am driving it with the roof up. You may think, ah, he's smart, he's reducing the coefficient of drag. What I'm actually doing is preventing the rear window from blowing out. So 50 in this direction, let's turn around and see what we can do the other way. With the added benefit of having a small hill to help us get going. And we've got a new 500 behind us. That's 50. That's 51. I'm quite happy with that for 17 horsepower. I don't think I'm going to be taking it on any motorways anytime soon though. I think that's one of the joys of this car, is that you just try and keep the momentum going as much as you can. Coming up to a set of lights now, and uh, I'm lifting off and downshifting just so I don't have to come to a stop behind the other cars. Well guys, there you go, 57 miles an hour. I'm genuinely quite happy with that. As I posted a few weeks ago on Instagram, I managed to get, I think, 55 miles an hour out of it. And that was also downhill at full throttle in fourth gear. I don't know if I'm limited by gearing or if that is genuinely just all the power the car has. Very entertaining though. I don't think I'd want to go much faster. It did feel um, on the edge. Do give us a like if you like the video and also do subscribe for a new video every Saturday featuring more of this 500 and also the 124 Spider. And as always, thank you for watching. Ciao.